Seventh First Air Calf, just happen chance. He could have been anywhere, both Army, but he could have been, but anyway, uh, his name was James Tucker. And uh, we ended up building hooch together, like, I don't know if you've walked around the museum here some, but there is a mock-up of a hooch over here in the corner. Mm -hmm. And that's what we built together, two of us. And uh, uh, so we, loosely, I'll use the term, camped out, <laughs> camped out together. It takes two people to build a hooch. It's made out of, out of a poncho liner and, and, a, and a poncho liner on the ground and stuff, but it takes two people. It's not a tent. It's a thrown together stuff that worked very well in Vietnam. What you have your supplies used. Yeah, is well, we use half of mine and half of his. We tried to build one with three of us, one time the medic, one time, uh, and we just could not build one out of three. It just won't work. Uh, like the one over here in the corner, I like to show and tell, but we can't get up. We can't get up and walk around. Uh, but uh, it's it's a poncho, just like you go to Walmart and buy, and we tie the hood shut on it, and it's the top. We tie it to branches and then tie the top of it up. We put one on the bottom to keep the wet out and the bugs out. Use one mosquito net that drapes around that's designed. They got little grommets in them, and it, it's all made to kind of fit. <laughs> that they may have designed it after the GIs figured out how to do it. And for a long time, we had air mattresses that we would blow up, and, uh, and then a thing called a, a, a poncho liner, which is a, a blanket kind of thing, real nylon lightweight thing. I still use one as a, as a blankie in my recliner at night. I just do. I don't know. It's a throwback. Been influenced by my past experiences. But uh, anyway, we, did, we built our thing together. One little side note. Uh, if you didn't put, we called it bug juice, but mosquito repellent, uh, and we had liquid uh, down on the ground before you put the poncho down, uh, some kind of bugs, termites or something, would eat the plastic off of it overnight. And then that poncho would be no good anymore for our water barrier. Oh, no. So we had to squirt bug juice all over the to kill the bugs. But anyway, we hooched together until uh, February the 19th of 71. I didn't know if I was going to tell this story or not. Maybe I will. I'm headed into it anyway. Uh, we always went out on patrol, had been for ages the same marching order. I'd say marching in the jungle, but the same order. He had been a uh, point man, head guy, the, not head, but the first guy in the platoon he wanted to be. He felt like he was confident and qualified to do that. He was a policeman in civilian life. He could have got out of doing Vietnam, uh, even my age. Uh, but anyway, uh, it was just a routine we did. I had been walking number three when there was six or eight of us out or even when the whole platoon was out, if there was 20 of us were doing it. I had got where I was walking three. It was just what we did. That day, we had set up an NDP, night defensive position, early, like at 2, 3, 4 o'clock, 2, 3 o'clock, I guess. And we went, on a, went out on patrol, what we'd call light, without our packs. And uh, uh, the... Uh, Platoon sergeant and one or two others went out with us. The lieutenant didn't. I don't know why, but we were had more of us out that day. And uh, the uh, platoon sergeant wanted to be a uh, point man. Well, all right, be point man. Well, James Tucker got pushed to third, my place, and I got pushed further back, fifth or sixth or seventh or eighth or whatever. We walked up a hill. And uh, we got hit. They blew probably our Claymore mine, not our Claymore mines, but stolen Claymore mines, mines anyway. And uh, the third guy's dead. Tucker's dead. That was my place. 
wounded some other guys, and I've lived with that for 40-something years. He, he, he took my place. I can't imagine how you deal with that. I don't know. It's just, it's not that he's gone, but it's maybe I should be. And you, you hear stories like that in all wars. Mm 